Welcome. So today we're going to be looking at how we're going to get Modbus uh, from a Modbus slave uh, into Status Enterprise or Status Device Cloud. So we're going to begin by going to the Data Model Designer and in the Data Model Designer I have a uh, pump here with a current and a flow rate property and these are the values that um, I would like to populate with live data from, from Modbus. So we're going to begin by um, creating a, a new configuration and the first thing the software is going to do is ask me where my live data is coming from. Now this is where I could specify a sensor, I can specify uh, REST, SNMP, OPC, um, BACnet, a variety of different things. So I want to connect as, as a, a Modbus client I want to or as a Modbus master I want to connect up to a slave in order to pull the data from it. So I'm going to select TCP um, Modbus client and the uh, we're going to be pulling data from this data simulator over here. This acting as a slave and uh, some things are, are uh, zero addressed in Modbus some things are uh, have a base index of one. This one has a base index of one so I'm going to hit um, this checkbox here and I'm going to add a new point and I'm going to call this new point current and the address that we would like to use we're going to go into the, uh, the holding registers and we want to pull the value uh, from this register right here 4001 so I put the address of 1 in there and that's our uh, our first um, item that we've created and I'm going to create a second one now for flow rate and for flow rate I'm going to choose a different address I'm going to go something a little bigger so I'm going to go up to Four hundred. We'll go right to this one here. Four one zero 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 one is the address that we're going to use. So I'm going to type in um, the address of ten thousand and one here under holding registers. So four one zero 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 one four one zero 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 one. Okay. So I've got my two properties um, mapped to the holding registers that I would like to bring data in from Modbus. And we've got to make sure that we have the, uh, the port right. So um, this is the port that is currently being listened to um, by the simulator. You can see up here it says port 502 and it's running on the same machine so the IP address is going to be the same. And I hit close and I hit connect and what that's going to do is on the left side it's going to uh, connect up to my model so here's my pump A2 and on the right side are my two properties my current and my flow rate so I'm going to select the current in my model and I'm going to select the current property that I created um, in Modbus and I'm going to right click and do add mapping and I'll do the same thing for the flow rate do right click and add mapping. So now as this value changes in Modbus it's going to um, come into the, um, the Modbus master that we're running here and um, into the data connector service and it's going to look up the mapping and it's going to look at what property it's supposed to be updating in the model as that value changes. And these are the, the values on the left. This is the, uh, the current and the flow rate within pump A2. So I'm going to save that configuration and I have um, a mimic up here and what I'd like to do is, is bind these graphics to uh, pump A2. So I'm going to bind this one to current, I'm going to bind this one to flow rate, I'll bind this one to the sum property. And I'm going to save those screens and I'm going to run it. And what we'll do is we'll go into Modbus now and we'll change those values of those registers. So if I change this register value to 123 for that register, I can see that uh, those values have changed. I'll make 
goes 12, goes out of the range of the control here, it's too high. So there, so there's our 12, and I'll zip back up to uh, my first register here, and add a value, set a value of maybe 23 into that register, and I can see that the value uh, is going to update within the model, and that will get broadcast out to the clients. So here's where we've got the current, and the flow rate, and the sum property uh, now being fed from a Modbus slave. Thanks for your time, and we look forward to seeing you soon.